Charlie Water Streets Art Festival is an alternative platform that brings art, music, dance and performances out of the galleries onto the streets of Jamestown, Accra, Ghana. The vision is to cultivate a wider audience for the arts by breaking creative boundaries and using art as a viable form to rejuvenate public spaces. The festival tells the African story in unique ways. For a decade, the old Asha Fort prison on the Atta Mills High Street has played host to the week-long street art festival. In one of the cells is 24-year-old Charity Debbie Akiti, the only female among scores of male artists. This room is supposed to be called Chaos. And that was a theme I used for last year. But the general theme for this year it is particularly remote. It's talking about um, the life cycle of humans and then we evolving and becoming new. Akiti is participating in the festival for the fifth time, but she commenced her personal exhibition virtually in 2020. And usually I get inspired by the things around me and I usually get inspired by the happenings in life, like Corona has infected us and uh, it has made us change our lifestyle generally. The walls and cells of the old Asha Fort prison remained as backdrops for local artists to exhibit their breathtaking art pieces, but number of art performances and thought-provoking art pieces also filled the entire old prison yard. It's a community that is developing and they can only develop through art and culture and, and, and cultural maintenance and uh, we saw it of all hope. Though the global impact of COVID-19 on businesses has affected efforts to celebrate the 10th edition of the popular Accra Street Arts Festival, some artists and patrons defied all odds to attend. Once a small artist-led festival with experimental beginnings, Charlie Water is now an established tourist attraction. The festival relies on volunteers and offers no funding to participating artists, but it now attracts thousands of visitors each year.